update. This is the winter update. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. I let the tank kind of go for the winter. The fall and the winter. This is the tank now. <laughs> There's a lot of growth. There's <laughs> this is what the Creeping Jenny does. See, I told you it's an aquarium plant. I only lost one platy. I've acquired a couple more platies. They're the smaller platies in here, like that one are babies. I came in here this fall and there were a bunch of babies in here. So they're breeding on their own in the plants. I haven't had to put a breeder trap or anything in there. And I've acquired a few fancy guppies. And there are more babies in here. I don't know if you can see them. There are babies in there little tiny ones. My camera's not the best, but you can see little tiny babies in the move, in the move, in the back. They're kind of clustered up in there. This is the Creeping Jenny. I planted it, uh, if you remember, I planted it in the bottom and it kind of, my aquarium light's not bright enough so the plants just decided to move to the light, and so they've uprooted themselves. That's a banana plant. They've uprooted themselves and have just gone to the light, and this is what they've done. And there's a platy that's not feeling well in there. He just, just sits and pants. I don't know what's the matter with this one, but anyway. Um, the, the plants have just taken over. Uh, I plan on trimming them up and fixing them and, you know, replanting them and I need to get a brighter light or my top where the light sits is, it gets that hard water sediment on it and it makes it cloudy so it's kind of kills the, the light. But all these roots and everything, these are the $1.97 plants from Walmart, just take them out of the dirt wash them off and stick them in here <laughs> and they're called Creeping Jenny. Uh, I can't remember the technical species, the name for them, but they will grow in your aquarium. You don't even have to plant them. You just throw them in there and they make the perfect cover for live bearing fish to have babies in. See how green? So, uh, the tank is really I've just kind of let it go wild right now for the winter, and then I'll take care of it in the in the spring where I can prune this stuff and properly do th things to it. But and I have a broken pot in there. I think that's the newest uh, the newest uh, decoration that's in there. That and these flat stones. But uh, aside from that. Uh, during the winter, my heater went out, and the water got really cold, and I lost one platy. But I've more than made up for it in new platy babies, and now I've got baby guppies in there, because the best thing to do when you buy guppies is to buy pregnant females. That way you get more for your money. But this is it. Updated tank. Very crazy looking. So... Come spring, when Walmart puts their plants out, be sure to grab that plant. It's way cheaper than buying aquarium plants. And this is what just a, a couple of bunches of them will do in your tank.